Hello guys and welcome to Rugby Tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about a special kick used in rugby. Now, we call this a special kick because it isn't used a lot in rugby. It's used to make, to do some special actions in rugby, which don't happen rarely. But if you learn it, it's actually really good. So, this kick happens when there's an enemy in front of you and there's a teammate. Now, you want the ball to get past the enemy, but you don't actually want your body to get past the enemy. So what you do is you actually go close to the enemy, then look at your friend and kick the ball forward so that he can run and go get to it. But he doesn't just, you don't just kick it in the air anywhere. You actually make it bounce on the floor and then bounce up. I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing you wanna know which is at the beginning, is that at the beginning you actually have to hold the ball like this. It's going to be straight. So that is step one. Step two is to actually let go of the ball. Now, to kick, we all have to let go of the ball. But you don't just kick it um, like this or, I don't know, any, any way. You actually want to kick the top of the ball. Because you want, what you want the ball to do is to actually bounce like this and then at some point bounce in a way that goes up. So what you want it to do is to kick it with the top. You want to kick the top of the ball and not with this part of your foot, but more the front one. Not your tiptoe, but close to your tiptoe. So top of the ball and almost the top of the feet. That is a step two. Now, this kick can happen in two different situations. One of them, as I explained at the beginning of the video, is for you to actually run next to the enemy and then kick the ball forward for your friend to go and get it. But another way is to actually just kick it and you go to get it. Now we're going to show you the two different ways this happens. And we're going to show you what, what they look like. But remember that this kick mostly and almost only happens while you're actually running. So you don't do it while you're not moving, you do it while you're moving. Let's see an example. So, as you see, the ball mostly bounces on the floor and then leaps up. That leaping up is because it's, it's easy for the player to catch. Because if the ball is bouncing at this height, then the player needs to bend down. But if the ball silently bounces up here, then it's easy for someone to actually get it. Because what you want to do is get it after the kick and then score a try or do whatever you have to do. So, I hope you've learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you and see you next time.